My lovely, lovely imps, there is trouble in internet town. That's right, big trouble in little YouTube. There is a hubbub in the brubbub, whatever, you get it, okay? There's some messed up stuff going on right now. Two content creators who are a little bit smaller than me, um, but still of media, what I would consider a mid-sized content creators and who are close to me in that uh, they are heavily associated with the groups uh, that I have associated with in the past, President Sunday and Not So Erudite are in the middle of a very intense conflict. Now, some of you will recall, some of you imps who've been around for a while will recall that I did a video on this. In fact, I'm going to bring that video up real quick. I should have had this link ready. Um, let me bring it up real quick, <clears throat> which is right here. It is called Knives Are Out in President Sunday versus Not So Erudite Drama Nightmare. This is the video right here. Uh, this is actually just the VOD. I don't know if we, did we ever actually do, did we do a, did I actually post the video? I don't know if I posted an edited version of this now that I think of it. I don't think I did. Regardless, here is the VOD for anybody who wants to go watch the original one. Um, it was a pretty intense situation. I reacted to a video um, a, a series of videos between Not So Erudite and President Sunday. I am going to do my best to summarize uh, what happened in the first drama because it's mildly relevant to the drama that we are about to dive into. And the reason why I'm talking about this, first of all, I should be clear, this is not going to be a drama mama, but I'm still going to be doing my best to make sure that re receipts are shown and that everything is presented in an orderly fashion. This is relevant to me because I already talked about the previous drama and so that my biases are clear because I am friends with President Sunday. As many of you know, President Sunday and I had some conflict some time ago. Uh, it's kind of ancient history now, but we were pretty, uh, we were pretty against it. And we actually worked through that and ended up becoming friends. It was a, actually one of the most, uh, one of the most encouraging, uh, things that has happened to me in this space since I became a creator. It was a situation where, uh, we both had really serious things we didn't like about each other. Um, present Sunday, uh, went after me really, really hard. And then President Sunday went out of his way to talk to me and say, hey, I feel like I went too hard on that. And I said, bro, let's, let's, let's bury the hatchet. We had a formal, like we actually talked on, on, on discord and formally buried the hatchet. We said, all right, let's, 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 let's squash the beef, which doesn't happen very often. So I call President Sunday my friend because I think that that, that, and since then we've, we've talked about a lot of things. We had a serious conversation back and forth. So there's my biases out on the table. Um, and I do my best to make sure that I keep my biases in check. And I also always present my biases with, I put all my cards on the table so you guys can understand where I'm coming from and why I'm interested in things, because that's just what I believe in. Um, Anyway, the original drama. Let's start with that. A couple of months ago, um, President Sunday made a series of allegations against Not So Erudite. And the nature of these allegations were of credentials fraud. Now, credentials fraud is a fairly broad term but it basically means that you are misrepresenting your academic or professional credentials to ill ends uh, to, for personal gain is the impl implication there. Now, the uh, we went through all of the evidence of that and my conclusion was that uh, I do think that Not So Erudite did misrepresent her credentials uh, on multiple occasions 
and uh, that it was irresponsible to do so. And also, moreover, more than irresponsible, uh, it was damaging to herself in a very silly and foolish way. Now, this drama boiled over to become pretty toxic with a lot of back and forth, and a video was put forward by Not So Erudite that um, I watched and reacted to live on air. And I felt that this video was very dishonest. Um, the editing was dishonest. Uh, it, I, I believe that it directly misrepresented President Sunday. I believe it showed that that Not So Erudite was not actually willing to engage honestly um, in the conversation without sort of twisting things that were said. And I didn't even think it was necessary because I think that the claims and the issues that Not So Erudite had against President Sunday could have been laid out without being so manipulative, without being so dishonest um but that's not what happened um yeah so needless to say i walked away with that last situation with not a very strong opinion of not so erudite i do not believe that not so erudite was a trustworthy person and unfortunately um this situation has reignited in a very very strange way and we're going to watch it unfold in real time because we, well, not in real time. Well, I guess we are. Regardless, we're going to watch what happened to start this all off. But I want to also lay forward where this has come from. So one of the things that Not So Erudite claimed that President Sunday did in the previous conflict was dox her. Now, for those who don't know what the term dox is, the term dox uh, means revealing uh, significant private information about somebody that is not otherwise uh, uh, presented publicly. Uh, so, for example, doxing could be releasing somebody's full name. It could be releasing somebody's address. It could be releasing somebody's personal medical information. It could be uh, releasing somebody's private email address, though that one is usually not what is used when for doxing. Usually, when people are referring about doxing, they usually mean name, address, IP address, anything that could be used to find you in the real world. That is what doxing generally is. Um, now, Not So Erudite had previously accused President Sunday of doxing her. And I did not find, at the time, I did not find those claims convincing. And the reason why I did not find those claims convincing was because Not So Erudite herself had volunteered that information publicly prior. Uh, Not So Erudite had given her private, a certain amount of her private information on podcasts. Her full name had been listed on podcasts. She w had openly talked about her workplace on podcasts. She had openly talked about uh, where she studied and, and the, the, the place that she was from. And President Sunday didn't post any addresses. He didn't post any private emails. All that he said was her full name and the university that she went to, which are both information that she had prior uh, already posted on the internet herself. So to me, that does not um, categorize as doxing, in my opinion. Now, I think... so. I can understand that some people might think that it's still not cool to do. And I can understand that. And I think that you and I, if you're a person who thinks that it's still not cool to bring that type of attention, I think we could probably have a conversation. However, this is where it's going to get complicated and tie into today's drama, okay? Because credentials are a complicated thing. If you are if you are just a streamer, like for example myself, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna put my own name on the line here. I'm Demon Mama, okay? When you come and watch Demon Mama's show, you hear an opinion from Demon Mama. You don't hear me say, by the way, I have this degree. By the way, I have this speciality. By the way, I have this license or certification because I don't do that. My opinions stand on their own. My evidence stands on its own. I do not make appeals to any level of expertise. The literal purpose of a credential 
is to to I, in the ideal to give people the ability to discern between somebody who is a professional with some level of training in a field versus someone who isn't. And for a credential to work properly, a credential has to be tied to a real person. A credential doesn't matter if it's not tied to a real person because then you can't verify the credential. Do you see what I'm getting at here? Credentials only matter at all. And some people would argue that even still you should be and I would be one that would argue that you should still be skeptical even when people have credentials, but credentials only matter when they can be tied to the real world. A random YouTuber can say basically whatever they want, you know, as long as it's not illegal or whatever, you know, obviously you, you, you can say whatever you want, but you know what I mean? A you, random YouTuber can say their opinions, but when they try to back that with a credential or when they try to, tr to, to empower their opinion with a credential, that can become problematic. And it can become especially problematic if somebody is not just a YouTuber, but they're also partaking in another industry without making any sort of separation between their YouTube career and the career or the industry that, you're, that they're belonging in. For example, if a nurse at a hospital uh, was uh, was made a YouTube channel where they uh, like went on the internet and lied about medical treatments on a YouTube account. Let's say that they were called like the the Roman Catholic nurse was their YouTube channel. And they were a nurse in a hospital and they went on and they said things that could endanger their patients. Even if they were saying that as their YouTube per persona, the fact that they also work in the medical industry as a nurse becomes very relevant, does it not? That is something that has happened. I'm just giving an example, okay? So that's why this whole situation has roiled on. And also, what brings us to the drama that we are discussing today? President Sunday has allegedly been doxxed. And President Sunday's dox has allegedly been propagated by Not So Erudite. And Not So Erudite has allegedly made legal threats with President Sunday's dox at President Sunday in public. And that is what we are going to be looking into today. So... <sighs> okay. So let's begin this. Let's begin with the first video. President Sunday uploaded a video which includes uh, a, a recording of a live stream that both he and Not So Erudite were involved in and also provides his characterization uh, of, of events. We are going to watch this video first. So without any further ado, let us tune in to Not So Erudite is Unethical and Dangerous, a video uh, by President Sunday. Uh, just if there's anything productive to be said here. Um, obsessive compulsive disorder let me just turn up the, I'm going to turn up the volume a little bit so we can hear this. Is like, or, or obsessive compulsive personality disorder, a variety of these different things. They're a big deal. <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to say that I was suicidal, but I do think that it is like worth knowing that just because a person is not going to kill themselves doesn't mean that they're not in an extremely bad place. If you ever have a person in your life that is like obsessed with suicide, but never does it doesn't necessarily mean that they're doing it for attention. Doesn't necessarily mean that they're like, just like, like fucking psycho crazy. You can, you can have like an obsession with the idea of like suicide is retributive. It's like a, it's a fucked up thing, but it happens with uh, PTSD a lot. So whatever, uh, consider, uh, consider it in your own lives. That's all I, I would say about it. 
The fellow you just heard speaking goes by the name Tuna Chip Online. On May 18th, he appeared in the voice chat of Chudlogic's Discord server, arguing in favor of anti-natalism, with a rather disturbing fixation on his sense that he had some moral duty to end his own life. I was present for some of the tail end of this conversation, and was pleasantly surprised to see that people were being remarkably generous and gentle in how they handled him. There were disagreements, but overall it represented an unusual degree of conscientiousness on the part of a usually not very conscientious community. Kyla, who goes by the name Not So Erudite Online, who I have engaged with in the past concerning related ethical violations, not the least relevant that she has a long history of fudging her qualifications to justify, among other things, charging a $40 now raised to $50 fee to recommend psych. Now, this is one of the things that, for me, se a separate person from President Sunday, who obviously, like I said, he's my friend, but this is something where it starts to blur the lines for me, okay? As I understand it, not so erudite service, which is done under her YouTube name, under her YouTube name, with her credentials that are under her real name, she offers a service where, uh, where she basically charges fifty dollars to help people search uh, through for a a therapist. It's a basically a referral service, and um. I think President Sunday is going to give his opinion on this, but I wanted to give mine before we get into any of this and my concerns with this type of thing. Not so erudite is a charitably um, a a drama politics streamer. Not so erudite isn't like a purely mental health channel. Not so erudite does debates and react videos and drama videos. I mean, if we go right now to Not So Erudite's channel, which we can just do that right now and take a look. Um, let me just take a look here real quick. We can take a look in real time at the type of things uh, that is posted here. Know your place, so you think you're a 10. This guy disagrees. The right identity problem. Uh, uh, Andrew Tate uh, reacting to a critique of sex work. Um, here's a debate, I think. Yeah, abuse debate gets personal featuring Destiny. Red Pill Grandfather triggered with Destiny. Um, is Steven Crowder an abuser? You know, okay, that's arguably mental health related. Here's commentary on a debate between the serfs and Tim Pool. None of these things in and of themselves are bad. I do videos like this. But I don't also on my channel where I'm doing these types of things advertise a therapy finding service. Do you see where I'm I'm getting a little bit like it weirds me it weirds me out a little bit that there is this conflation between a, a simultaneous refusal to say yes i am a i am working in mental in a mental health field and versus yes i am a react drama streamer with some political bent it, it kind of I, I don't know there is there's something to be said about uh about making debate abrasive debate you know type content while simultaneously selling from that channel a therapy finding service that you charge for that is backed by your credentials, which we should of course also note that not so erudite's credentials are like not so erudite is not a psychologist. Not so erudite has um, a a graduate diploma um, in in uh, I believe it's it's. Oh my God, I'm trying to remember from the last drama. I'm sure President Sunday will bring it up. It's not psychology. <laughs> I wish I could remember what the degree is off the top 
of my hands. I don't, I don't think it's a degree in that. Uh, yes, I know. This is the whole thing. That's the whole thing. That's the whole conflict, though. Is that it's, it's, it's an analyst. It, it doesn't matter. The point is that this is a service that's being sold, with a, uh, with a credential background, from a drama, from a, a functionally a drama channel. And I think that people have a right to scrutinize that, especially when it comes to the fact that this is a mental health field, that this is a, that this is a therapy finding service. This is a service to help people who are at risk and a vulnerable population. It's not like a, a candle shop. There would be no problem or ethical issue with running your candle shop, AKA drama channel. There would be no ethical issue with running your, uh, you know, car painting service with your YouTube channel. But there starts to be some ethical concerns when it's matters of people's mental health. You see what I mean? I, this is the whole thing is I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to dive back into the old drama. I didn't even bring up the 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 nitty gritty of it i just gave you my read because i don't want to go back through it all i want to focus on this one so let's continue psychiatrists or therapists to vulnerable audience members caught wind that someone was possibly engaging in suicidal ideation in chud logic server and immediately jumped in to insert herself You're welcome to try and help him too if you like. It sounds like you, some of you gave some pretty solid advice. I wouldn't charge him if I'm offering, but it's going to be up to him. So this is her after this user was, was suicidal in Chud Logic's server. Up to here, she was offering her service to him. And it appears at this point that she said that she wouldn't charge him. and her quote-unquote service. Once again, for those who are not familiar, Not So Erudite by this time has a fairly dense history of inflating her credentials and then correcting the record weeks to months later when some savvy viewer calls her out. Right here, what President Sunday here is saying is, in my opinion, unequivocally correct. Um, one of the core things was not, you know, even the problem of what her degree was in, which of course was was one of the things that was discussed in the last drama but the fact that she represented a graduate diploma which is a short program with a graduate degree which is a a very different thing a graduate diploma is a small course load a graduate degree is like a a massive undertaking and she misrepresented that in text and she did. She overinflated what she had. You don't fuck that up. Like that's a that's a thing that can get you in legal trouble. People don't fuck that up. People don't just off the whim just say, "Oh, I have a graduate degree" when they actually just did a professional training program for a graduate diploma. So, um yeah, it, that that claim from President Sunday is in my opinion true. There is evidence of her overstating what she actually is qualified for in the past. And again, this kind of ties back to the problem of running a drama debate channel while you're also doing work in the mental health field, right? Because the drama debate channel, you want to be Chad, right? Yeah, who, how dare you challenge me? Anyway, let's continue. Out. This would be relatively insignificant if she didn't happily allow misperceptions ranging from her having a graduate degree to being a full-fledged psychologist to having an actual therapeutic practice to sell actual medical services and to make authoritative statements on psychology and mental health to an uninformed public. But she does do this. And this incident with tuna chip is an example of one of the more potentially dangerous instances of that. Here are Not-So-Erudite's actual credentials for the perplexed. Kyla has a graduate diploma in psychological assessment. There it is. See, that's why I was saying I thought it was an assessment. This is 
This is the, the diploma that she actually has. This is a six course long program. That six courses. And here is the example of her saying, yes, I am a trained psychometrist, which is a graduate degree, but it's not. It's not, first of all, being a trained psychometrist isn't a graduate degree, but her degree that she holds is not a graduate degree either. It's a six course graduate diploma. It is not the equivalent of a graduate degree and essentially prepares students to administer and read paper tests. She's essentially a lab assistant. She likes to self-describe as a psychometrist or a psychometrician, but she is actually neither as these are vocational titles in Canada, which according to her own professor are inappropriate to use unless she is employed under either title. These are aspects that we went over in the last drama. This is an example of President Sunday sending an email to the school that she went to, which she was public about. This was this right here is what she said was doxing. Even though she uses her she uses her credentials and brings them up in online discussion, she talks about the school that she went to, but apparently President Sunday asking a question to the school was supposed to be doxing. I don't think that was doxing. Do you see what I'm saying? Anyway, let's continue. But she uses these labels anyway, because to a lay person, they seem impressive and give her an air of authority. Debate she is brain. also a licensed Debate addictions brain. counselor. She likes to tout this one a lot, but this one is actually even less impressive. Canada has a very poor history of oversight when it comes to counseling and therapy. Kyla is a licensed addictions counselor because while working for Adiera, a faith-based, she's usually very quiet about this detail. I looked into Adiera, okay? During the last drama, I looked into Adiara. And in fact, we can go look at Adiara right now. Just so that we're clear as to whether or not President Sunday is telling the truth here. Adiara, this is we this is the one. This is the correct Adiara. The leap of faith we can do about us. Adiara is an accredited addiction recovery center that helps women establish a life free of addiction. Um our history began as an extension of the Edmonton's inner city mission. Just so you understand, it's a literal missionary group. Um, and if you go into here, mission and values. Our vision is to see women in addiction experience freedom through a life of recovery. Our mission is to empower and equip women to live sustainable recovery through hope, healing, restoration by providing long-term faith-based programming counseling and life skills commitments dedicated to recovery in a residential program exceptional educational environment accountable and aligned in the christian faith meeting the needs of women and their children and if you go in through this website you will find all kinds of examples of they're very open that it is a faith-based system it's not just an addictions counseling service it's a faith-based addictions count. There's no, look at this. I mean, right here, look at this. At the center of our prog programming is faith-based practice. We firmly believe in the spiritual transformative power of the biblical Christ. God's redemptive power provides hope, healing, and restoration to every single life as they are now. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about this claim from President Sunday. President Sunday is just telling the truth that this is a faith-based healing program. It is a very, not even lightly, it is a very faith-based healing program. So I just wanted to make sure that we're clear about that claim. That's not something he's making up. That is just fact. Addiction Recovery Center, she gained the hours of clinical experience necessary to satisfy the requirements for the addictions counselor license that only became available for the first time while she was working at that facility, a facility that treats church attendance and prayer as key elements. Yes, this is the other page that I looked at. We can actually probably bring this one up. What page is this one? I want to look at this one real quick so we can see it with our own eyes, not just take President Sunday's word for it. Hold on, facility. let's see. A facility that treats... 
This is the, which one is this one? Hold on, let's see if we can find that real quick. I don't wanna just, I, I want to show you, I'm not just taking President Sunday's word for this. I recognize, like I said, I was very forward about the fact that, uh, that President Sunday is my friend. Here it is. Our faith in God's transformative power provides hope, healing, and restoration. They, they're claiming faith healing here. It serves as the anchor for our program and our passion. Our program is faith-based with biblical perspectives. Bible studies, devotions, and church attendance and prayer are key elements of our program. Let's just straight up. Like, how clear can it be? Their program includes, as a part of addiction recovery, going to church going to Bible studies. They will check up and as a part of their program, make sure that you're attending church. The Genesis process provides a biblical and neurochemical understanding of what is broken and what causes our self-destruction. Okay. Okay. Just, okay, we've seen it with our own eyes. This is the website right here. Let's go. It's church attendance and prayer as key elements, quote unquote, of its program. So when Not So Erudite says she is a licensed addictions counselor, she is dressing up the fact that she worked for a spell at a facility specializing in praying mental illness away. This is a person who bullshits her credentials to seem authoritative in the areas of mental health and psychology and inserts herself into conversations involving individuals she has reason to believe are psychologically vulnerable in order to sell her brand and her quote unquote services. The problem is that Not So Erudite has very little knowledge when it comes to the actual treatment of mental illness. She is qualified to administer tests, not to diagnose or to decide that this specialist is more appropriate than some other specialist for some particular patient's needs. And moreover, she is also brazenly taking money from patients which may impact which services they can actually afford in the end, effectively limiting their treatment options via her involvement. Um, as promised to a lot of you, I'm going to basically cover how to find a really good therapist. So, so this is her video promoting her finding therapy service. As some of you may know, I actually offer this as a $40 service. Um, with this service, I give you three therapists. Sometimes I give you four, depending on your complex needs um, that I have vetted and highly recommend and encourage you to contact. So what I'm going to do first is just vet against the psychologists. So probably what I'm going to do for this. And now she shows herself using psychology today as a part of her service. So her service that she charges $50 for promotes from her drama and debate channel is searching psychology t psychology today a pre-existing service notice that she makes the claim that she vets them but never explains in full what vetting actually means actually it's psychology today that is doing the vetting if anybody is she is simply reading the pre-existing article on psychology today and then selling that for fifty dollars do you see why i start to feel like this is a really questionable service to be peddling from your youtube channel where you do drama and debate content um and i i think this is dirty but we haven't even got to the core of this drama have we this individual for price ranges since I'm offering a service as well as psychologists are going to be more expensive than like typically somebody who's just like a licensed therapist. So I'm probably going to send her two psychologists and then a licensed therapist as a third option in case she needs a little bit of a of a lower price. Despite, as you can clearly see, that not so erudite's contribution, such as it is to the process of finding a therapist for her clients, amounts to doing a quick input into a publicly accessible search engine. 
a task as technically complex as doing a quick Google search, she intimidates potential clients by citing the confusing process of, quote, navigating all the letters, profession, designations, and treatment modalities, unquote, to justify taking $50. But she doesn't write letters, does she? What, uh, do, does she write letters for them? Dollars from clients she acknowledges may be financially vulnerable as well. This is not only extremely unethical, this is extremely dangerous. And this is the context for the conversation you're about to see, in which Kyla jumps onto Chudlogic's stream to defend her conduct with respect to tuna chip, and I, on a whim, jump in right after. Enjoy. Thanks. Have a good one, mate. Okay. By letters, I think she's referring to abbreviations for degrees and whatnot. No. That, no, come on. You got, no, come on. You're joking. No, come on, come on. <laughs> Stop. She means letters like PhD, BSC, MD. No! Those would be acronyms, wouldn't they? That would be an acronym. Not a letter. No, come on. You you guys are joking, right? Uh, make sure that you uh make sure that you go ahead and give some gift subs to everybody that's soy nodding right there. See you later. Okay. So that was the person. The person who was talking previous at the beginning of this video was the person who was having a mental health crisis. Not so erudite. Uh, uh, showed up into present into chud logic's discord and offered her service to this person how you doing hello i'm good how are you oh you kicked me earlier i just uh i just want to reiterate i don't have a problem oh because you were especially. sorry you were muted that was all yeah 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 yeah. Uh, yeah no i'm not i'm not yeah i'm not annoyed about it um i like spicy chat i like dk I like Stylo. Um, I just think you know, some of some of the stuff was kind of bad. But I don't think that you should moderate it or get rid of it or anything. Um, so, you know, you can have you can have places where people do some fucked up things sometimes. You know, it's kind of fun sometimes. Uh, I just wanted to plug my Twitch channel. Okay. Can't do that. Whoa. Go ahead quickly. But what's going on now? So, Chud Logic here. Ever the drama merchant, you know, credit to Chud Logic for always being on the grind, has pulled in Not So Erudite and President Sunday. Twitch.tv slash yo yo kami. Y O Y O K A M I. I play uh, Apex Legends sometimes. Peace out. Okay. Okay, what is going on here? Is this is this comfortable? Is this normal? This is a bit awkward, Fine. isn't it? Swell. Us three in a voice chat. Yeah, I'm just going to clarify what DK said because it was a little bit of a... Hold on, I'm going to crank up the audio just a tiny bit. Miss narrative of what went on. Uh, so when I entered the chat, I entered because I think Danny Tugo had messaged me saying, hey, there's somebody who's decently suicidal. Would you be willing to just come in and check on him? And I was like, you know what? I like Tuna Chip. So I popped in, saw there was 35. I said, hey, Tuna, heard you're not doing well. Look, if you would like to chat with me, we can. Um, I'm not going to do it in a group of 35. Uh, it sounds like DK was frustrated because there was multiple people who had said this. I wasn't privy. I was driving around. I was doing gro groceries and errands in the city. Um, they, DK made a comment about like, uh, how driving, that's crappy. Sorry? So you type while you're driving. That's interesting. So I was getting groceries, which means that I was in the parking lot, right? All right. Fair enough. Okay. Good, good try. <laughs> um, the, the, the sick dub that President Sunday has is because, <clears throat> of course, I didn't know anything about the situation because I wasn't part of it until and I joined. Charges I a offered as a to chat. Okay, Sunday, come on. Just I look, do. look, look. I do. You're Let's correct. Just... I do. Yeah, you do. You charge money for it, for their complex needs. What so, as a reminder. I understand why President Sunday is so agitated here, but I got to be honest, friend as a friend, President Sunday, you gotta uh, you gotta wind back the interruptions just a little bit, just a 
just a tiny bit. Just a little, a little too quick on the interrupting draw, okay? Just a tiny bit, all right, bro? Let's go. As a reminder, I, good faith, have let you know about your docs, but you are Whoa. aware that I have your information, and I also have lawyers that work with me. So I'm going to... Okay, right there is, that is the event that sparked this wave. That's like, that's what ignited this. Let's hear that again real quick, just to be sure what we just heard. So as a reminder, as a reminder, I, good faith, have let you know about your docs, but you are aware... This is so quiet. Why is her mic so friggin' quiet? Let me crank this up. ...that I have your information, and I also have lawyers that work with me. So I'm going to encourage you to chat. Okay, okay Sunday, come on. Just look, 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 look. So, as a reminder, as a reminder, I, good faith, have let you know about your docs, but you are aware that I have your information, and I also have lawyers that work with me. So I'm going to encourage you really strongly to be smart about the conversation. I haven't made a phone call yet, bitch, but I am... Even know, not, even Chud Logic is like what the fuck, and even Chud Logic's chat is like what the fuck. Absolutely, one of the weirdest things to do. Jump into a chat randomly in public, with I don't know how many people are watching this thing live. There's no view count. And just be like, just so you are aware, in good faith, I have your information and I have lawyers. Now, guys, let's just, real quick, that's not in good faith, okay? I'm sorry, that is not in good faith, okay? Going on to a drama show where you're, where, where you're, offering your services to somebody in crisis is being called into question and immediately going in good faith i have your information and i will not hesitate to act on it i have lawyers and i know where you live that's not in good faith guys that is uh that is that's not in good faith you know what could have been in good faith never bringing it up in pr in public what could have been good faith was simply saying in private hey bro uh just so you know uh, people have posted your docs here. Go take care of it. That could be in good faith. It is possible to let someone know that they've been doxed, but you don't do it in public because if you do it in public, then everybody around knows that the docs are out there and everyone in the audience goes looking for it. In fact, the worst faith thing that you could possibly do is, st is tell in public on a drama channel that somebody's docs are out there. That is the worst faith thing that you can fucking do. It's in fact, one of the most insane things. And again, this person is selling a mental health assistance service that is linked to their behavior and their brand in where they are going on drama channels. Chud Logic is a drama channel. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Credit to Chud Logic, where credit is due. We have our differences. God knows that. But Chud Logic, at least, is very, very forefront with what he is. He has literally, as long as I've known Chud Logic, always said, I am a drama channel. And then with your brand that you sell your mental health service from, go on a drama channel and be like, I have your information and will act on it. What the fuck? What the fuck? Chad, you're good, you're good, yeah, here's, here's, the, here's the difference, here's the difference between you and me. You doxed yourself. If you dox me, I'm you actually are crossing you. the line. I don't dox people. I'm not going to dox you. In fact, oh. I reached out to you privately, despite you trying to end my career and accuse me of federal crimes to let you know. President Sunday didn't accuse not so erudite of federal crimes. Even if, even if you are anti President Sunday, I can understand if people came to the, I, in fact, abundantly understand why people would think that he insinuated that because the wording of his video was in my opinion not uh not well done however he issued a clarification immediately afterwards that that was not what he was concerned about and not what he was trying to focus on 
though I do think he didn't do a good job at first. But he did not accuse that. He at worst insinuated. At worst. About your docs, because at the end of the day, even if I think you're a bad person, I would want to know as well. That's why I let you know privately. But I'm also. No, you let me. You let me know. You let me know privately to psych yes. me out. No, that's how yeah. you can read it. No, that's no. Your husband let me know privately to let me know you Whoa! know. Whoa. So I understand that you see the world which as is like. Which why the first, which is why you preface that, which is. So now, President. Oh my God! What? Oh God. Why you preface that's that? That's not saying, what's going on. Which is why you preface that by saying, "I have lawyers, and I know who you are." Yes, right? that is correct because you yeah. accused me of falsifying my credentials. Which, which you I did. To, which you I did. Not. Which you did. You said you have a graduate okay. degree. You typed it out. Just to be clear. That's a fact. Uh, hold on. You do I not. Threatening. Hold on. You I do not. Threatening. I'm threatening you with legal action. Not Bring it. Boxing you. Bring it. Well, I, would, I would prefer Bring not it. to. Make my day. Okay, can we just... Okay. Okay. I beg you. Let's just... To go uh, back to... to the narrative of what's going on, I offered it to Tuna, and at this point, I knew that we had a suicidal person, and I did not know if they had a therapist. After talking to Tuna, he let me know that he's had a therapist for 10 years, which means he doesn't need one. But of course, if I think someone's suicidal, one of the most important things is trying to link them up with services. Of course. Your service that you charge money for. That's fucked up. You know what? Unironically, there's a word for this. Ambulance chaser. It's literally ambulance chaser behavior. And that is And who sells a service? Do you know when she said, do you know when she said, I won't charge him? After she was pressed about it, because I said in spicy chat, if she starts charging him for the service, somebody who's suicidal, she jumped. Oh no, that's even worse for her. So she offered the service before making it clear that she was not going to charge him. If you, oh my, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh no! Send opportunistically and tries to get this person on her service. I will report her to a university. You're just like, I haven't yet. You're just, you're just assuming but I will. a bunch. You're just assuming a bunch of stuff about my mental state, which is what you've done every single time. No, I'm tried. assuming you have no soul, which I think is accurate. Okay, sure, no soul. We'll go with that instead. None. Okay, so you think yeah. that I'm a really awful person. I think that I you're... think you are a pathological liar. I think you and your husband both, your entire shtick is to get the cheapest, lowest effort degree possible and to stretch it as far as humanly possible with rubes to make an easy buck. Okay. So That's I what understand. I think about you. I, I understand that. Yeah. It's been clearly shown yeah. through me and through Pisco that you're lying. That you've but it has been clearly me. shown by me. Guys, we went over the Pisco thread Pisco wrote a 200, I think it was 200 tweet thread that was raging about President Sunday that supposedly debunked President Sunday. And we read like a little bit of it. It was absolutely one of the dumbest things I've ever seen. Pisco did absolutely did not debunk anything. He was literally soy raging into Twitter. It was really unfortunate. Im oh god imagine oh god i can't believe this is happening again to any of the places that currently employ you that is an option that is a card that i still have so let me be abundantly clear if i catch you trying to sell services you are not qualified to make to vulnerable people i will make sure and i will call under my name these specific organizations that currently employ you the ones that license you and the ones that will be extremely angry when they find out what you're doing so i've talked to all of these that is aggressive on President Sunday's part. It's aggressive to say that if I catch you doing this thing, that I will do this. But keep in mind, President Sunday has just been threatened. And also, that's the reason that these organizations exist. These oversight organizations exist to prevent people from misusing their degrees, from taking advantage of people who are having a mental health crisis. President Sunday is not like, like in the internet sense, threatening to end someone's career. President Sunday is talking about filing an ethics violation because there's an ethics violation. Like, 
Uh. Individuals, they know who you yes, are. Yes, you talk to professors know. who like you. You talk to the organization that probably no. taught you the whole grift. You no. work for what? Like a faith healing place? No, I don't work for Adira anymore. Yeah, but that's that's what you did. When you say, you're when you say, hey, look, look, I'm a qualified counselor, and use that to justify saying you have a graduate degree to refer to yourself in the general as like we psychologists and, and so on and so forth as a therapist. I assure you, that I know was... my life better than you. You are just lying. Yeah, I know. That's no, he, he's not lying right now, though. He's actually not even close to lying. She did get her addictions counseling from working at Faith Healing. She talks about this. She just says he's lying because she knows it looks bad. She's lying by saying that he's lying. It's just true. It's a matter of, of record. She's talked about this. This was something that wasn't even an issue in the last drama. And those who watched my last video, you guys will see us talk about this. You'll see us talk about Adira. You'll see her talk about how she got her stuff at Adira. There, so now she's just, she knows it looks bad. She knows that Chud Logic's audience won't like faith healing stuff and so she's pretending that's not what happened but she admits it in her own videos you can go watch right now not so erudite's video on her channel from the last drama where she explains in great detail how she worked for adira to get her her, her license it just wasn't a big deal then because nobody had looked into adira except for me to find out that it was a faith healing organization because that wasn't what the subject of the last drama was. Holy shit. You really have to when you lie constantly, when that's well, the you basis just, of your entire in career. This, in this conversation, you said that I work for Adira. I haven't worked for Adira for three years. You but don't you have worked that. for Adira. You that's have true. Worked I worked Adira. for them in the past, but you implied Indeed. in this conversation you became, that I you became, you became, You became a licensed counselor through them because you had been doing hours with a faith healing organization when it became the case that you were able to register as so, a, a licensed just counselor. Just because I don't want... So my workplace is actually... No, like, this former workplace is notified of you because they actually received multiple messages as a response of your thing. And just so it's clear... Citation needed. This faith healing center is fully accredited by the Canadian accreditation. Yeah, do, do you, yeah. Do, do you know? Do you know how that came to be? Do you know what the conditions of being accredited were? For those who uh, are perplexed, running it, for a certain number center, of hours, running this, for a certain number of hours prior to the accreditation becoming that viable. Is absolutely not the requirement process. The, the accreditation process at the center typically takes about a week where the accreditors come out, they interview multiple staff members, they interview multiple people. The idea that as long as some um, center has been open for three days, to assume that the Canadian I didn't say three accreditation days. college, I didn't say three a, a days. certain number about? of hours, you're Where did you get three days from? Where did you get three days from? Nice, where'd nice get, try. Where'd you get three you were, days? Where did you get three days from? You pulled up a number. I made it what? up. I did. I just pull up a number. Yes. You're literally. What the fuck is she talking about? He never said three days. She's just fucking. She's desperate here. This is such a horrible look. And all of this, all of this garbage, is on her brand that she sells mental health guidance services under. All of this. All of this is in the public record. This happened on Chud's channel. Chud has a video on it. President Sunday has a video. She's probably gonna have a video on it. All of this is on the name and brand that she sells mental health counseling, sir. It's, it's insane. Why would you ever blend these things? Why would you ever do that? Oh my God. Plying. But then what are you saying? You're if you just implying. made up Can a I number. Can I finish my sentence, please? You I don't implying. care if you finish your sentence. You're, I know you don't. You'd like I to really just tell your narrative. I really you're, don't. You're implying. I really don't. Chad, do you mind if I just like... <laughs> yeah, sorry. Like come on, Sunday. Come on. Come on. Chill out. Let's go. Thank you. Erudite. All right. I'm chilling. You're implying... I'm chilling. That a, ...that a Canadian accredited service for addiction counseling that is accrediting multiple private institutions, some of the best institutions, by the way, across Canada, is so lackadaisical in their addiction counseling, like, accreditation services that... A yeah, this is actually an infamous problem in Canada. We actually have... We have a serious problem in Canada where we have almost no oversight over people in this area. It's actually, it's a very serious problem. Kooks abound. It's Shit. actually a problem in the United States as well. You guys know, I've talked about this. 
during my segments talking about the cult that I grew up in, I've mentioned their addictions program, their addictions program, their addictions program, which is accredited, mind you, because the laws are ridiculously lax. Um, their addictions program involves slave labor, technically justified slave labor. When you check in to the uh, to the cult that I grew up in, when you check into their addictions program, they take your keys, your IDs, etc., consensually, and they hold, and the church leaders hold that for the length of the program. And while you're there, you go to church every time the church tells you to. You go and you do jobs, charity jobs, on behalf of the church, and they count as charity because it's the church doing them, but the church is getting money from them because what will happen is they sell the labor of the people in the addictions program who are building character and getting over addiction, they sell their labor at a cheap cost and they don't have to pay them because those people are there as a part of an addictions community service program. So yes, actually, this is a huge problem. President Sunday is just spot fucking on. So now you're yeah. not only are you attacking me and lying about me, you're lying about a treatment center you know. No, not lying about you at all. Because every claim I every claim I have made about you, I have produced documentation to establish. So you have actively like augmented you cut. What's your graduate and... degree in, Kyla? What's it in? What's your graduate degree? I have a graduate diploma in psychology. Yeah, whoa, whoa, that's a very you're very careful not to say degree, but you said degree then. You Dude. typed it out. Why did you say graduate degree? Why uh, did you say you have a graduate degree? Have you not checked that message? I made an edit and said, sorry guys, I shouldn't no, have you typed didn't. a graduate degree. You didn't edit, actually. I have the message. You typed I'm it out assuming, a long paragraph. I'm I'm you edited it you... before you published it. So I, I typed it out and then I went back after you pointed out that I said graduate degree and edited it to clarify it. Have oh, I after... made... It's really funny, by the way, just as a matter of record from things that I've seen, um, other people called her out on that even before present Sunday and it didn't get changed. It, she only went back and edited this stuff despite her making other similar claims elsewhere, which was one of the problems I had in the initial drama. One of the problems I had was her misrepresenting the intensity of her degree on multiple occasions. Uh, but she went back and did a discord edit on that uh, only after the drama actually boiled over to a level that it was inconvenient for her. She left it up, people thinking that she was a psychologist, people thinking that she had a graduate degree, people thinking all this crap. I did, really. After all, I mind you, while selling a service off of her drama YouTube channel. Yes. I did. Wow. Yeah. So yes. once you were caught, you fixed it. So it wasn't a lie then. That's amazing. You realize, you realize your evidence of all of me fabricating my credentials? Is you is fabricating one, your credentials? One Discord message in spicy chat. That's what you have. That's what you're staking all of this on. Whereas I have proposed, I've shown you <laughs> multiple bouts of evidence. I've showed you the psychological measure that I developed. You are not qualified. You are not qualified to diagnose a patient's well. complex needs and to send not, it to a therapist I, out of state. I do not do that, and you're assuming a lot you of things about that. my services. You do that. You don't. said it with your own mouth. Yes, you did. I've never said that I diagnose clients and send them to therapists. You realize you that. You send them to ridiculous. therapists on the basis of their complex needs for you to assess their complex needs. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that that's word for word from her thing. We are currently at 1620. Let's take a look at word for word from her thing. Therapists I believe. To I have started helping people find a suitable therapist in their area for a $50 charge, navigating all the letters, professions, designations, and treatment modalities is confusing. Let me help you. And then in her video here, where's the one? Where's the one where she talks about it herself? Hold on. I could be wrong. Maybe he's not quoting her word for word. I'm going to basically cover... Here we go. Um, as promised to a lot of you, I'm Let's going to sure. basically cover how to find a really good therapist. So as some of you may know, I actually offer this as a $40 service. Um, with this service, I give you three therapists. Sometimes I give you four, depending on your complex needs. Um Literally, he was quoting her word for word. His, oh, she, he was quoting her own words at her. How much of a liar can you be?
And then here at 1620, she denies that. This is from her promotional video for the service, and he quoted her word for word. Their complex needs and to send them to a therapist on that basis. That requires something that demands it's for you to assess their complex needs and to send them to a therapist on that basis. That requires something that demands the diagnostic. You are judging their it's conditions not. from a position so of ignorance and being untrained in that area. So you have to realize that just because you understand literally nothing about my field, it doesn't make you right. It just makes you look silly and I'm wrong. not convinced that you understand anything about your field. It I seems do. like it doesn't even matter okay. if you do. It seems like you can just say whatever you like. By which uh, you do assessment and recommendations. If you look at most services. No, I'm really not. I'm really not interested in your song and dance, Kyla. It's, it's very old. Recommendations. It's services. very old. Okay, well, we'll let her speak at least. Come on. Uh, if you, uh, sorry, if you offer services where you recommend therapists, there are plenty of these services out there. They're wonderful, and you look at the ad average education required for this, and it's not very high. You don't need high level of services because typically when you make recommendations for therapy, you don't Welcome base it on diagnosis. Generation. You recommend them to professionals who do the proper assessment. For example, you. when I have you people don't. come to me who are looking you for don't. diagnosis, I immediately rent the recommend them to neuropsychologists or clinical psychologists, or if necessary, medical doctors Neither as which... well, that I don't recommend, but I give them names of individuals in the space. Neither Neither of which, so neither of which are fields about which you have any training. When you talk about neither of which are fields about which you are any training. No. Which he's also telling the truth there too. Her training is in assessing tests. Even if you accept, even if you, even if you ignore the previous drama and you accept that she's a psychometrist, that is not the same thing as what she's claiming here. That is a, a that is analyzing the t a, a a certain type the results of an of a psychological exam like a written exam. It's not the same field as psychology. It's not the same field as psychiatry. They are distinct types of work. This is a very this I is a very basic. Specialists who work in this areas is, like anxiety. Okay, and so this is it this is a diagnosis. This is I the shtick. Okay, this. Like Beyond Seyford says she's full of it. In Massachusetts, the NASW offers a therapy matching service, but the people who do the matching are all licensed clinical social workers. So she's talking out of her ass. Oof. This is the shit. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. It sounds like Erythite like is trying to get something out and you're just cutting her off, so. But she's just filling the air at this point. I'm like she's really this not. Whole thing. She, she I'm really, really not. is. So yes, because you're. Because you she's by over. Which... Because she's walked like... over the actual point. She's walked over the actual point, right. which is that in order because to distinguish, you can't forget that I in order to in order to distinguish, language, in which you lied about your credentials, and it wasn't just one. Now, here's the here's the crucial point. Um, you cannot distinguish between a neurologist, a psychologist, a therapist, da, 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 unless you have training that actually allows you to judge between them, and you do this not. This is not true. This you is do not, not true. You have a this diploma. You have a fast-track diploma, the right. short and easy one, in so assessment. That does not qualify you to judge you between therapists and <laughs> He's not, he's not, he's not making stuff up. She does have a fast-track diploma for a different type of work than what she's saying. Now, whether or not people agree, and I'm gonna criticize President Sunday here just a tiny bit. Um, some people might agree uh, that it is in and of itself okay to, to, uh, to like recommend based on general information that you went to school for a similar field so you're familiar and have made yourself familiar with the difference between an md a phd uh between a licensed counselor blah 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 you could make the argument that somebody could be well enough informed to be able to make determinations between the differences between those things but that's not what her degree is for which he's correct on that and uh, what I think he should have focused on, because I don't, because I think some people uh, would say, oh, well, you know, you don't need to have a, a, a clinical degree or a clinical practice or whatever in order to, to tell somebody else the difference between a psychiatrist and a psychologist, which I think some people would be okay with that. Uh, personally, uh, I think the, the thing that he should have focused on here is the fact that not really as to whether or not uh, uh, 
you need a qualification to be able to tell somebody to go to a ther to a psychologist versus a counselor versus a psychiatrist. Um, but instead, on the fact that she's launching all of this from her YouTube drama channel, conflating it with her brand, where she goes on the internet and makes threats about docs and calls people stupid idiots and tells them to shut the fuck up. Like, I think that's the bigger problem than whatever present Sunday is at here. Um, I do believe, though, that there are limitations on charging for referrals. Like, I don't know about in Canada, but I'm quite sure that here in the U.S., you can't charge for referrals. You, you're not allowed to charge money just for referring somebody to someone else. Those have to be free of charge. You can charge for all kinds of other things. Which kind of seems crazy because America basically lets you charge for everything. America lets you charge, lets people be charged for holding their own babies. Beyond Safer says, at least here, in, this is for the U.S., usually therapists have to pay to be listed on referral services and it's free for clients. Huh. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. Anyway, let's continue. Psychologists and psychiatrists up. and you neurologists and so on and so forth. So to explain, lay people can tell the difference between a neurologist, a psychiatrist, and a psychologist because the burden of outlining the specialty of an of an expert is. Well, I mean, you would expert. think that because Having you're a lay person, Kyla. Okay, just uh, right. We let, let's stop the fucking just make the points. We don't need My to partner the just walked in. I can't. I can't pursue this any further, unfortunately. Oh, how For God's speed to both of you. Kat says, when I checked NSE's licensors about the service, the wording came out a bit ambiguous. Both patient and direct Alberta leave it at kickbacks. Yeah, see, here in the U.S., there are laws against kickbacks, which is like you being paid for referring somebody. But I don't know. You see what I mean? So I don't know if there's those types of laws in Canada. Yeah, Beelzebub says, De present Sunday's point is being able to tell the difference and being qualified to recommend practitioners is different. Yes, I understand his point. I just think that it's weaker than 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 a, another argument that is in front of him, which is what I care more about. Do we? Do you really think that it's appropriate for somebody to be selling a a referral service for money that they are? that they are promoting in spicy chat, which for those of you who don't know what spicy chat is, the name should make it fairly obvious. It's a functionally unmoderated chat in Chud Logic's server where people can say racial slurs, people can say all kinds of stuff. Um, do, you, do we really think that this is an appropriate place for someone to be promoting their drama brand channel that also on the side as a side hustle offers $50 therapist referrals to me that sounds like an absolutely insane thing to do to me that comes off as unethical it seems totally fucked up to have a drama politics debate channel where you are also selling your uh, mental health referral service and you are your brand and your credentials are tied together and i also can't imagine ever ever believing that I, that it would be good for people who are potentially having mental health crises to be in the hands of somebody uh, to be in the hands of a brand that engages in this type of stuff and this is where president sunday is going to play a clip that admittedly i find very funny so enjoy and wait, this right here, by the way, this clip that President Sunday is about to play illustrates my point perfectly. So he 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 does ultimately make a similar argument to the one that I'm making, but let's just watch it. And then remember, on the screen is Not So Erudite. Not So Erudite is the same brand that is selling this mental health support service for $50. Right. Okay, when it comes to the topics, oh, wait, dark triad. Guys, guys, 
Okay. Well, good night, everybody. When it comes to the topics of dark triad, of sociopathy, Wait, of I psychopathy, shut the fuck up, Ashley. Nobody gives a fuck. Whoa. Shut the fuck up. Oh, Chill, my. Bro. oh my goodness. You... No? Wait, no, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Kyla, you got, you got me. Guys, guys, up, everybody. I'm, I'm, I'm you mute, Kyla. Kyla. Nice, Ashley. Can you please? When it please? comes to the topics relating to psychology in any way, I am your expert. Okay. She's not a psychologist. She's not a psychologist. She has a graduate diploma in in psycho in assessment, psychometric assessment. Just remember that. Okay, I just fucking am. And every single time I talk in an educational tone, if you feel condescended to, that's a fucking self-report on you. If you don't know the words that I'm using, if my vocab's too big for you, if Kevin's too fucking smart for you, that's on you, bitch. That's your personal offense. I don't give a fuck. I don't care if you feel offended. Be offended. Be more offended, okay? If you can't keep up with a fucking conversation, if you don't know what a fucking analogy is, I don't give a shit that you feel condescended to. You should. You should be embarrassed. You should be embarrassed to talk in public and sound so fucking stupid. I am a psychometrician! I am a psychometrician! I am a psychometrician! I am a psychometrician! That's literally same energy. Oh my god. Okay, everybody, that's not the end. Don't you think that's the end of it? Because no, it gets even weirder. It gets even weirder. Are you fucking ready for it to get really, really weird? Because it's about to get really fucking weird, guys. Oh boy, here we go. Why don't you talk like that more? It's weird. It's weird because... I could be super abrasive and there wouldn't be any fucking ethical violation because I'm not selling you a psychiatric service. I'm not selling you mental health services. I don't pretend to have credentials. I don't even boast about what credentials I do have. I'm just an entertainer. I'm a YouTuber. So of all the people, and I still don't scream like that anymore. Except for when I say, I am an expert. I am a... I used to get more mad when I would do debates. But again, let's get into this. This is a second video from t from just a cup from like about a day ago from President Sunday that's called Did Not So Erudite Dox Me. And this right here is when the spice reaches maximal levels. Regarding his claim of the dox, I knew he was monitoring and clipping things from my Discord after he released his video. I this is, by the way, this is from, this is the old video, if I, if I remember correctly. The Sunday Conspiracy is the old video. Um, let me see. Let me make sure. Yes, that's the one from three months ago. So this is a clip from an old video. ...to throw him a red herring. I posted this in my general Discord. Whoa, found out something crazy about Sunday's past. Bah. I'm redundant. Mm. Okay, this is really petty, but can I? <laughs> the way she reads back her own text, it just. I'm just... <laughs> Found out something crazy about Sunday's past. Bah. I'm redundant. Bah! That's bah ha ha. This is how you do a bah ha ha ha. Okay, okay, I'm gonna teach you for future reference. <laughs> That's how you do ba ha ha ha. Okay? Or ba ha ha ha. There you go. There's a free education lesson. When you type all caps ba ha ha ha, it's not ba. That's not it's just from from one drop from one highly dramatic streamer arguably drama streamer politics streamer to another. That's how you do ba ha ha, okay? That's how you do it. You don't go ba Redundantly thorough. Found out something crazy about Sunday's past. Bah. I'm redundantly thorough. Okay. He's taken that to imply that I was intending to dox him. Just so it's very clear, I didn't dig into Sunday's past. I don't care. Several months later. As a reminder, I, good faith, have let you know about your docs, but you are aware that I have your information, and I also have lawyers that work with me. So I'm going to encourage you really strongly to be smart about the conversation. I haven't made a phone call yet, bitch, but I am... I know, it's not tempted. you, Chad. You're good. You're good, yeah, here's, here's the <laughs> Here's the difference. Here's the difference between you and me. You doxed yourself. If you dox me, 
I'm not you actually are crossing you. the line. I don't dox people. I'm not going to dox you. In fact, oh. I reached out to you privately, despite you trying to end my career and accuse me of federal crimes, to let you know about your dox, because at the end of the day, even if I think you're a bad person, I would want to know as well. Your reading comprehension is inversely proportional to your arrogance. The street address bit was an analogy to show you that you can find publicly available information, publish it, and still have it be an attempt to dox. This is her reading out. As I understand it, this is her husband. Big Nick Energy is her husband. She's reading out her husband's tweet. Which is what you are, a doxer. Please don't publish specifically this little tiny bit of uh, the recording. Now, what we are about to watch is a recording that has surfaced and been verified by the people involved, a recording of that same person, Kyla's husband, talking to Chudlogic's editor, DK. That is what this is. Uh, if you do, you know it is what it is. So the name that uh, President Sunday supplied. I'm sorry. Can we just can we just rewind that? Any bit of. Please don't publish specifically this little tiny bit of uh, the recording. Okay. News. Okay. A bit of a word of the wise. A news flash. Uh, to those, if you ever find yourself saying anything like this in a discord call you should stop yourself and simply not say the thing there is no circumstance in which you say uh what i'm about to say uh don't whatever you do don't tell anybody else about this uh if this got out it would really fuck me up uh but d don't record this don't put this in the video um if you ever find yourself talking like that consider whether you actually want to say what comes next you, you just, yeah. Uh, if you do, you know it is what it is. So the name that uh, President Sunday supplied. Hope Eternal says, this part confuses me. Why is this being recorded? How did Sunday get this? Why, why, why? I am not sure how this was recorded. Uh, I assume that there was more than one person in this call and one of them recorded it and sent it to President Sunday. I do not know for sure. Uh, I don't, uh, all I know is that DK, from what I understand, DK has confirmed that this is a real recording. Uh, and yeah, so, and also we have another bit to watch after this, um, uh, in which I believe, if I'm not mistaken, Kyla also, not so erudite, also acknowledges that this is a recording, a legit recording. Check the link I sent you. Which link? Which link? You sent me a link? Oh, this is the full version? Oh, okay. Oh, so it was... It was uploaded by DK. Okay, so it was DK who leaked this. There you have it. This came from DK. is his name the workplace is his place he goofed right because i redacted all the information by the way also uh, hold on before we go any further second word to the wise or word from the wise okay second second piece of advice if you are if you are dealing with drama streamers if you are dealing with a guy who's a drama streamer professionally just consider whether or not they might not eventually make you. If you make your bed with Chud Logic and DK, you should expect that you will be made into drama if it is profitable to do so. Okay, it's that simple. All right. If you're if you're going to the drama channel, okay, in this local corner of the internet, Chud Logic is like the Twitch politics, uh, and the 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 groups that have grown out of Twitch. He's like he's like. Drama is drama channel. He's the pure drama channel. He doesn't just commentate on drama. He doesn't just uh, uh, love to talk about drama. He makes drama, okay? He's the drama goblin. Just, what the hell? 
Oh. The screenshots, and then you guys saw he started posting spam, posting screenshots, and oh, didn't yeah, redact yeah. his own he, information, yeah, right? I mean, but okay, so he said that that's not his information. Though. It is his. Six says so. Sunday is an idiot for messing with DK and Chud. I don't know what that means. President Sunday criticized DK and Chud. These these, it sounds to me like like Nick, not so erudite's husband, thought that he could plot with DK and Chud when drama was on the line. Why would you ever try to plot with somebody who has the distinct incentive, desire, and is open about the fact that they will make drama out of you if they can? Information. He's lying, rightfully so. Like, go, go ahead, try to defend yeah, so, your so identity you, as much as you can. You awesome. know that's his name somehow. You I evidence know that that that's his name. name. Because it was presented to me, not just his name, like uh, several pieces of information, right? And then I went and looked it up. It's all his name. It all checks out. You there was pictures of him, etc. Okay. okay. Yes. Yeah, it, it was all, right? Like, that's the, that's the thing. So it's like, please don't publish that part of the video because, it, listen, if Sunday can convince people that he didn't actually dox himself, it wasn't actually his information in the DMs, good, wonderful, beautiful, that's fine. <laughs> Oh my god! Uh, guys, please make sure that this doesn't make it out. It would make me look really bad and it would make you guys a ton of money and get you guys a ton of free clicks. So please, whatever you do, just um, make sure that you don't make this thing that would make me look like a stupid asshole go live, okay? Just, um, I know there's a whole bunch of you hanging out in this chat. Uh, please, whatever you do, don't do it. These people... How stupid can you be? How fucking stupid can you be? Come on. Fantastic, right? Like he even, when I showed, when I gave him his information in the DMs, if you remember reading them, he even tried to tell me. So wait, wait, he just admitted, Nick just admitted to also sharing the docs with DK. Oh my God. He just... Oh, so Nick is literally confirmedly a doxer. Nick shared the docs with DK. They didn't, D DK didn't have the docs before, presumably, and Nick sent him the information with the docs. Literal self-report. Oh my God. Oh my fucking. Swing and a miss. That wasn't his information, and I was like, "Come on, dude! I, I, I okay, I'll, I'll show it all to you." I, right. So, do you understand why I'm saying you're like protecting the dogs here? So, like, why would they come to you with this information? Who is like a known enemy of President? Sunday? We got to turn this up. This is too quiet. I got to crank this shit up. Let's hear. Let's hear this. Why dost thou call me? I think you're doing a. I think you're doing a fantastic job so far. I just needed to correct something very quickly. Um, so the the timeline is uh, somebody in Chud Logic Spicy Chat suggested. Hold on, hold on, you're really loud. Hold on, I got to turn you down just a little bit. My apologies. How am I now? Oh, uh, that's better. Okay. So somebody in Spicy Chat, I can't recall who, um, suggested that I should post the DMs, uh, the the docs DMs from Nick, um, okay. in order to verify like why I consider them to be threatening and so on and so forth. Okay. Um, that's a great idea, but I'll have to redact them. It'll take a bit of time. Okay. And Nick jumped into the chat then and then starts saying, oh, I'll post them right now. And and so, okay, my brain goes into panic mode and I'm like, oh, shoot. Okay, so this is going to be taken to imply um, that I have been misleading about the nature of the DMs because I didn't post them first, This is go and so which was stupid of me. But I ended up very hastily cutting them to remove the photos, and I thought the names, but I didn't realize how many times it occurred. And I ended up posting them simultaneously to him before reading his and realizing they were redacted. So in this context, um, what's actually happening is not that he has uh, speci specifically shared the name with DK at this point. What's actually happened is in response to uh, him posting what I expected would include the docs, because these weren't DMs he, he asked my permission to share. Yeah. Um, so he leaked your DMs. He leaked the DMs, yeah. but then afterwards, while talking to DK, he, because in the DMs that I, I post, I don't actually confirm the name. I actually am pretty specifically saying that, no, that's incorrect. But then he goes to DK in a private chat afterwards, and he insists, no, I verified it. 
Okay, so, so that's what we're listening for to. A now. Brief, so I had this sli- yes. sli- so for, slightly yeah. incorrect timeline. It's very, very, very slightly. It, the next, the next clip in this video will will clarify that a little bit. Okay. Um, or the next, not the next clip in this video, the next uh, segment that I that I send you, um, where where Kyla gives her account. Um, but in this particular context, there was a brief, brief window where I had released the DMs with less redactions than Nick, but I denied that that was my name there. It's it's Nick who went ahead afterwards and confirmed them with okay, additional so digging that I he had done. Yes. So your your yes. ones, you didn't redact the wrong information. You were just like, this is the fucking... I didn't shit. redact them sufficiently. So you'll notice like they're big, uh, if, if, if they're shown. I can't recall if they're shown there, but I think you can see them. I think they're on the, I think they're on Tom's footage. You'll be able to find them. Okay. Um, if you see the actual, like, uh, yeah, the clips, um, mine uh, have no, like, large white squares covering photographs. That's okay, because I, I cut mine so they didn't include the photographs, yeah. I see what you're saying. Okay, so so yes. so what he, you're saying, basically, that what he sent to DK was redacted, to the best of your knowledge. Well, he put it in a spicy chat, it was redacted. Okay. Um, what so we, he then we don't did know was, what he said. He just said right now that he sent yes. your conversation to DK. So I guess what I was saying was well, well, he put it he put it into Chadlogic server. So I, I can't recall exactly what was said, but I would interpret it that way. Okay, in, like, so I see. put it into well. DK's, you could uh, let crap. me. You could have let me say I suspect that he sent the docs to DK. But look at you. Wow. Upstanding President Stan Day standing up and saying, no, actually, he might have sent redacted ones to DK. Wow. Thank you for cor- for the correction, though. Yeah, my, my principal issue here, um, and, and why I take a large amount of objection to this, is that he's basically taking the fact that he used a very patent threat still of doxing because he's saying he's going to share DMs between us. And he's just doing so um, in order to control the narrative. So he's making it so that I now have a reason to treat that as essentially like, oh, fuck, this is already happening. That battle's over. So I'm now posting those things, and he's using that as license to, oh, oh, look, no, he doxed himself. Despite the fact that the name I actually deny. Yeah, but Despite the fact that in those DMs, it's, it's, it's a little bit worse, actually. So despite the fact that I deny the name there, he then goes out of his way to give a specific to to clarify that a specific name, first and last name, and uh, and other things is is actually is actually specifically me. Um, <laughs> it, so for a brief period of time, he he had that little bit of, of of plausible deniability, I suppose, that little bit of leeway where he could say no, no, it was him. But then he went out of way to DK, who in this call, I think you've already seen the part. He says, "Oh, you." You know, we have reason to think it was you. Oh, we haven't we've, seen that. I don't think we've reached that part. Oh, you haven't? Okay. Yeah, well, we this have, gets so. this gets crazy. So, all right. Anyways, so we'll have fun. we'll get we'll back, get back to that. So let me yeah. just let me yeah. just make sure I've got this. You're correcting yeah. me to say that we don't know for sure if Nick actually shared the the docs to. Oh, I know, DK. I know, I know for sure actually because I'll, I'll say this much. Okay, you and I have a. A colorful history with DK, and I suspect it will continue to be colorful. I, this is the, DK, the person with an DK attitude to certain things. Definitely does not yeah. like me, and has definitely yes. uh, attempted to to uh, to get a few shots off on on me in the past. Let's just say a I, deranged tweets that received uh, zero to four likes total uh, of him freaking out and uh, and melting down over me. But let's yeah. just say, let's just say let's just say his behavior towards us historically has not been kind. In this context, in this context, um, with respect to this in particular, he has actually been remarkably decent, like to the point where it's it's well, kind mean... of altered my perception of him a little bit. No, with respect to this in no, President Sunday, with don't be a rube. This, For once, you're not, being the rube. Not, He's not, a drama channel, you fool. Yes, you, he did is. you not yes, hear he my is. warning? He will yes, turn on you yes, the he moment he I just agree. turned on his buddy oh, in this chat. Oh, no, no, no. I agree. I you robe! But, but, for this brief little thing, uh, it's only he has because, actually been... It's only because the cash oh. aligns with him making more drama, leaking this shit, obviously. Come on, Possibly. man. Keep your That's head in the game. Your docs are yeah. on the line, my man. <laughs>
All right. Well, All right, in any case, in any case, for the for the time have, for the time being, further... I will say this. I will say this very quickly. Okay, I will say this very quickly. Being as as minimally like at, at infinitesimally, uh, what's that? What's nano nano level uh, generous as possible? Um, it is because of him that we do have access to the full conversation and the DMs. Those were supplied by oh, DK. True. He didn't have to supply those. Yes. He could have. He could have just kept those to himself. He could have. Um, yeah. But so also, at the very least, that would have at the been very least, less money, yes. right? Because that means that the drama would have died quicker. Well, it depends. I don't think Chud Logic was particularly keen on it. He didn't seem to enjoy sure it very about much. That? Uh, no, it's kicking up. Well, it depends. It depends. Maybe. All right. Maybe. I guess we'll, we'll find see. out. Well, we'll find out. We'll uh, speed uh, stay safe. Uh, Adol Adol Hustler in my YouTube chat uh, <laughs> is is calling you a liar and a fool. Uh, so you might want to go challenge uh, that guy. He uh, he has an Adolf Hitler um, uh, little icon, so I'm sure he'd be right up your alley, alley to argue with. Well, I mean, you know, uh, he was a vegetarian, right? Like, he's got some ethical principles. <laughs> yeah, I Maybe guess he's so. onto something. Yeah. All right, right President. Godspeed. Good luck. Uh, correct me if I if I fuck anything else up, but I I was a little. I'll be confused. I'll be away for the rest of the night, but I'll watch it. I'll watch it later, and I will let you know. All right. Best of best of luck. Stay safe. You too. Take care. Right. All right, everybody. So uh, that was a brief correction from President Sunday, a admittedly very minor correction. Um, but hey, you know what? Credit for President Sunday for correcting me. Let's listen to the rest of this. Let's do this. If they were doing it like in good faith, why wouldn't they just go to Sunday and tell them, hey, your stuff's being posted out there? Uh, so uh, two point thing, right? I don't have any communication with the doctor. Uh, I only had co co uh, uh, contact with the guy telling me about the docs, that it already existed. Clear on that? Huh? How is that possible? How do you post the docs, even if it's redacted? How do you share the docs to President Sunday and say that the docs are accurate if you don't, the, huh? What? Yeah. And I'm yeah. not willing to give no. you guys that guy's name. And right now I'm talking to okay. the secondary source person about potentially airing out who the primary source person was, who until this point, oh, so, I didn't so know so, who so, it so, was. So, okay, so go you, ahead. You are not willing to give us any actual information or evidence here. Correct. Uh, what? Okay. Define any actual uh, information uh, of President so Sunday's who, docs, or of you guys uh, doxing so people, or what are you asking? Whoa! Like screenshots of people saying these things. Screenshots of the docs is happening. Screenshots of, of people spreading around that it was me or anyone else. You don't have you. Uh, you have the no the only process. the only thing I have screenshots of uh, is, is the docs that I have saved on my computer. Okay. Uh, there's other DMs from the person who is the secondary source. Okay. So he does have the docs. So the secondary source gave the docs to Nick, which makes the secondary source a new primary source. You can't call them a secondary source if they give you the docs. If they share the docs, they're perpetuating the docs. They're not just telling you they exist if they forward the docs to you. This is so dumb. And now this guy is hat and we don't we as president sunday has pointed out we now can't confirm whether or not he is sharing the docs but he seems to say that he is because because president sunday didn't redact incorrect information so now he's the primary source give that names or anything well, I'm not willing to give the secondary source names, and I'm talking with the secondary source, or, well, Erudite is talking with the secondary source. Well, I'm not willing to give the secondary source names, and I'm talking with the secondary source, or, well, Erudite is talking with the secondary source. Well, Erudite is talking with the secondary source. Well, Erudite is talking with the secondary source. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm not a doxer, but I'm actively pursuing getting docs from a secondary source. Oh, God. I'm 
talking with a secondary source, or well, Erudite is talking with a secondary source about the person who is the primary source. Oh my who, god. Uh, we didn't know the name of, and they didn't know the name of initially. In fact, I don't even know if they know for sure that it was that person. But they had reason to believe that the initial docs came from uh, <laughs> you guys. Oh no! Hey, DK, I need your advice on something. The person who originally alerted Erudite about the docs linked it back to you, but said that you would have plausible deniability. Uh, ha ha ha, what's the name? Who said that to you? I'm not defending the doxer at all. I'm defending the person who told me about it and linked it back to you guys, and I'm not just gonna say it's you. <laughs> what? What the fuck is going on? What is wrong with these people? What is fucking wrong with these people? Sharing and confirming my docs to people you suspect are doxers. Very nice. And uh, they have reason to believe now that it does not come from you guys, that it comes from somebody else. But I, okay. Erudite's talking with the secondary yeah, source so right now, so I can't have, tell you anything. When you have actual information, you'll let me know. But until then, I think we can move on from this. Um, sorry, give me one second. Erudite's asked me something. Flashback. Your reading comprehension is inversely proportional to your arrogance. The street address bit was an analogy to show you that you can find publicly available information, publish it, and still have it be an attempt to dox, which is what you are, a doxer. President Sunday, this is President Sunday here typing this. I'm not saying that Kyla and Nick made up a fictional primary source and tried to spin a narrative that DK and company were responsible for giving them my docs in order to relieve Kyla of responsibility for trying to use my docs as a threat. But I can't help but notice that despite being willing to publish private messages and confirm my docs to people they claim have a reputation for doxing, neither of them are willing to produce even redacted proof that any such primary or secondary source exists, although they are apparently still talking to the secondary source, which means either that they are protecting the alleged doxer while using my docs to threaten me publicly, which we just watched happen, or there is no secondary source at all and they are the doxers. Look. That's the rest of the video is, is, is so you can read this thing. But as I understand it, there is one more video for us to listen to. There's one other video for us to listen to. Which is this one. And as I understand it, um... Here, let's just watch this. I have been given permission to watch Source this one. In a second. So as I understand it, uh, uh, President Sunday told me I could I could share this one. So I don't think there's any compromising information in this particular video. Let's listen in. This is Tom Foolery, uh, a who is talking to not so erudite. Secondary source is a little confusing as to whether or not there's two different groups of people sending two different groups of information, or if it's one group of information and two different sources for one group of information. And he's waiting for a response now because I don't think Erudite is actually on the call. I think she's in chat. In fact, I can see her arguing in chat with a person named Not So Erudite, a, a professional uh, therapy service brand. The brand, a professional therapy brand by the name of Not So Erudite is arguing in Twitch chat with Peter Poopy Pants. So that tells you about all you need to know about the mental health and uh, wellness brand uh, known as Not So Erudite. My God.
Kyla. Is she just muted, just arguing with you guys? Tom's right. This is very convoluted and Erudite's ignoring his questions. LOL. I don't, I, she might be way behind or she might just be arguing with you guys and have me muted. I, I don't think she's ignoring me. Okay, uh, real quick, while this is while we're waiting for this to uh, to proceed, Tom Foolery here is arguing or talking with a guy who doesn't like President Sunday here on stream. It's shown right here. His name is Christ's Scourge, and his his description of his account is proceed against the bastards and the reprobates and against the children of fornication. What the fuck? Is what the fuck is what the fuck kind of community is going on over here? <laughs> Do you guys understand why I have made such a massive effort to move away from the debate, politics, drama spheres? Do you guys see why I took the effort to go and build Demon Mama Island, which is now a lush and thriving paradise that gets hundreds and hundreds of viewers per stream and thousands of views on my videos? Do you guys understand? <laughs> Are we avoiding drama? Bitch, I barely cover drama, okay? I once in a while, when it's somebody who's like, wh where it's related to people that I'm previously associated with and I think it's funny, unless I'm doing a drama mama. And my drama mamas are very structured, okay? Very structured. Right now, right now, we're looking through a telescope. Hold on, let me get my... We're looking, hold on, let me take this off so you guys can see. We're looking through the telescope at the, at the strange island that I used to have a bridge to a long time ago. <sighs> Bear, she might have the stream muted. Oh, yeah. Damn it. I think if we learned anything from this, make sure you're not making leaps of logic. This is one thing that President Sunday continues to teach us. <laughs> I'm back. Okay. I don't know about that, Tom Foolery. I don't through. know about that, bro. Maybe. It's taken a minute. She's arguing she's arguing really hard with Peter Poopy Pants, and apparently she's it's muted in the its voice sweet chat right time. now. I can't wait for until Christ is King 69 shows up. That's what I can't wait for next. Sick is the guy I roasted last. In the last drama, I, I very lightly roasted Sick because the video that Sick posted had the worst, the worst audio balancing that we've ever encountered and it was ear ringing us every two seconds. Do you guys remember that? Or it's not going to play? I don't know. I don't know anything else about sick. Ba basically anything about sick, except for that his video had really bad audio balancing. Yeah. Okay. Brandon Cavallaro super chatted $1.32. Come. Weird. There it goes again. Okay. Brandon Cavallaro super chatted $1.32. Come. Okay, cool. Come, true. Thank you, Brandon. Um, okay. Kyla. So the part that's a little confusing. There's two sources for the docs. You got the primary source and the secondary source. Are these two different streams of information coming for two different doxes? two separate groups or two different people sending docs information or is it 
two different sources for the same stream of information. Credit to Tom Foolery for asking a really good question here. That's a very good question to ask. See, I assumed secondary source generally means somebody who's telling you about somebody else or something else. So the primary source is somebody who was there or the, the originator of the information and a secondary source is somebody who is repeating it. But Tom wisely here points out, I can't speak for anything else in Tom's video, but wisely points out that it could just mean that there are two separate doxers. What's up, B. Heller? Damn, there's a lot of dead air on this. Hey, I just figured it's easier if I ah, talk and try to type this all out. That okay. works. So the first information that I got was the latter. Two so there was the primary person who passed it on to, so there's person A who passed it on to person B and person B passed it on to me. And I didn't know who person A was. That was the original thing. They just kind of alluded to potentially where it came from. Okay. So then person B is the prime, they're also the primary source. It doesn't matter if person A found it first because person B repeated the docs to somebody else. So you got your information directly from a doxer. That person found the docs and is repeating it. Okay. Does that make sense? After yes. that, within about a day, I received about three other different individuals sending me the same information. And some sent me, like, yeah, three other individuals sent me information. Okay. Yeah. And so... The primary source. Hey, uh, hey guys, I'm heading down to the dock store. Uh, anything you guys want? Anything you guys want? Um, I'm just picking up some stuff around. Uh, you know, anybody? Anybody you're looking for their address, their IP address? Anybody? Anybody? What you want to know where their grandma's house is? Just let me know. Text me. I'm, I'm heading out. This just means that it's the first person that sent it to you, or this is like somebody closer to who knows who the doxer is. Uh, I would have to see the, I, I'm pretty sure I've probably used primary to talk about the first person who sent it to the second person and to talk about the person who sent it to me. So okay. it would depend on the context, uh, but to make oh it more clear, my, I'd probably just talk about it like person A sent it to person B, person B sent it to me in the original <laughs> chain. Okay. Then... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This song and dance, this fucking bullshit. This is purely my own personal theory, but I think it's all bullshit. I think they're the fucking primary source. This is so, this is some fucking, this is some fucking, uh, 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 upside down, backwards, back basket weaving underwater justification for what the fuck. That's my hunch, okay? And I'm being open here. That's my hunch. I don't got proof of it at all, but... Uh, nobody does this level of fucking, uh, 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 triple backflip mental gymnastic shit. Well, I was saying primary and secondary, but there's actually four other people now. Um, and now I'm going to use person A and person B because I've sometimes referred to the secondary source as the primary source and the primary source as the tertiary source. This is fucking ridiculous. Since then, I received it from multiple other sources. Okay. And so when you're confirming with um, <clears throat> somebody during this call over and over, that's person B. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Person B was the only person I had communication with at all, except for the, like, the other three run people in this chain, until basically the other day when I went back to person B and I was like, I need to know who person A is. And then I got into contact with person A as well. Okay. So why does it matter? So you know who the source doxer is anyway? Oh my god. This is the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my entire life. You d Oh no. These people are- Just remember everybody. 
This is Not So Erudite, the wellness and therapy assistance brand where you can go to this service and for $50, they'll make sure you find the mental health you need in between juggling doxer A, B, C, D, and E and trying to, and, and trying to pin down where the docs are so that they can make a public threat on the drama channel they're going on later. Man, talk about branding disasters. This is like, this is like, this is like a fire fest in a can. You know the term tempest in a teacup? Tea cup? This is fire fest in a can. And so that's how you guys found out that, like, for sure, DK... This was... is all on a live stream, too, by the way! It's not involved at all. Yeah, so the person B individual, someone alluded to the uh, DK stuff. Um, that wasn't what was going on, though. Uh, it was actually person A. Okay. Yeah. And is there good reason to not out person A? Uh, yeah. So, uh, as you probably know, President, Sus President Sunday has a history of maliciously lying. President Sus Day? And harassing. Not just me, but many people in this space. I'm not super interested in giving him someone else to target because the person didn't send it to me. has a history of maliciously lying. Sorry, hold on. Uh, yeah, so, uh, as you probably know, President Sis... Wait, where, to who, somebody not said... out person A? Uh, yeah, so... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is there good reason to not out person A? Uh, yeah, so, uh, as you probably know, President, Sus President Sunday has a history of maliciously lying and harassing, not just me, but many people in this space. I'm not super interested in giving him someone else to target because the person- Somebody who's a doxer? You're not interested in letting him know who doxed him? I mean, okay, to be fair, Not So Erudite clearly fucking hates President Sunday. But, like, get off your high horse. Just say fuck President Sunday. That would be the Giga Chad thing to do here. Not to be like, um, as we all know, President Sunday is, um, he's a, he's a known, um, harasser. And, um, I don't want to, I don't want to unleash the terror of Sunday onto this poor little doxer. Just say fuck President Sunday. Just own it. Not so erudite. You could learn a lot. Own your shit, okay? Own your fucking shit. Jesus Christ. And didn't send it to maliciously to me. Has person B specifically has only sent it to me and isn't planning to post it around, right? So mm -hmm. just to be clear, people keep calling this person a doxer. It's not a dox to find somebody's information. It's a dox to release the information publicly. The only person in the entire situation who has released President Sunday's information. Which they did. Person A, l according to your own narrative, Person A gave the docs to Person B who gave the docs to you. Person A is a fucking doxer because they gave the information to Person B. Information is President Sunday himself. The only doxer here is himself. So they sent it to you. What do you mean the only doxer here is himself, you fucking clown? What the fuck are you talking? Okay, this is literally, oh my God. Moron gaslighting. What is this? What's, what's like a, we need a, what's, what's a, what's something that's not quite gas? Propane lighting? No, what's like a lesser form, a lesser flaming thing than gas? Somebody help me. Somebody help me. It's like, it's like, it needs to be like a watered down gas. Ass lighting? <laughs> ass lighting. This is fucking ass lighting. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> oh God. It's so bad. It's like, I'm going to lie straight to your face. I just admitted that I just admitted that I got docs from, 
from multiple people, but the only person who's done any doxing is definitely President Sunday because President Sunday didn't, didn't, when he was trying to prove the record, he didn't redact one piece, which he already said was false. That's not how any of this works. How fucking stupid are these people? This is ass lighting, straight up. For the lawsuit? Yes. So, I thought that you guys said that you had already seen it because Nick starts off his messages saying, you probably already know about this, but... With DK? Um, oh, with President what? oh Sunday. to President Sunday. Well, the reason that we said you probably know about this is because we had had now four people send it to us directly and we had seen people mentioning the, his name in different chats. So if person A is not being malicious with this, why are there four different people ending up with it? To be honest, because the way that person A found it is really simple. It wasn't, which is why we reached out to him in the first uh, place. It's how do you really, know that? really. How do you know that? Oh, come on. Come on. I'm sorry. Come on. Come on. This is so. Come the fuck on. Simple. It was just a reverse Google. Is pre is is person A in the call with Tom Foolery right now? Is person A in the Discord call? Google image search. Okay. And so I I think just a bunch of people found it. Uh, which is, just to be clear, because it was such a simple way to find it, that is the only reason we reached out to President Sunday, because I knew that he is intentional about protecting his identity. And because I knew it was that easy to find, I wanted to notify him so he could contact the website and have his image taken down. Which, by the way, after we reached out to him, he did do that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And it was, so I don't know if you heard my conversation with him earlier, but when I kept bringing up the fact that he posted his docs or what he calls his docs now, um, when he posted his information in the mm -hmm. discord, um, mm -hmm. Nick told him or reached out to him to say, bro, you have PI in there. He yes. says that he muted Nick. And that okay. there's no reason for him to have known that there was PI in there. Is Nick the only person who said anything about this? Do you know? Sorry, President Sunday is claiming what? He's quite, so Nick said that right after President Sunday posted his screenshot, he mm -hmm. had he noticed that he didn't block out all of the PI. Right, so, right, yeah. The um, reason that we knew his info was in there is because people in the chat started saying his name and we knew that we didn't have his info in there. We were very careful about redacting everything. So when we started see people in spicy chat saying his name over and over, we were like, where the fuck is this from? And we were like, this stupid fuck panicked and okay, posted it. This is, this, is what, this is what President Sunday was attempting to explain. Okay, I, I see now what, what he was trying to say to us. When he called us, what he was trying to say is that the p image that was sent to the spicy chat was redacted, but he didn't redact one part that wasn't true anyway. So... It, it's a non-starter. So none of this even matters. What does any what, what does any of this matter? What does any of this matter? This is all just this is all just dancing around the topic. The fact that not so erudite went on Chud Logic's channel and said, "I have your docs and I will take legal action against you," uh, and then also, uh, a presumably actively sought out this docs, actively sought out and is protecting the initial doxer. We went back up, looked through, found where it was from, and was like, bro, take this down. Which, by the way, he... So they have a name that isn't Sunday's name. Yes, that's what President Sunday was saying. He redacted... He redacted everything but the... the he redacted everything but the incorrect information. ...it up for hours afterwards. So that only happened, like, hours before my stream, then. Yeah. 
because he took it down right after my stream. Uh, I'm not sure the exact hour that he took it down. I just know he took it down like late into the evening. Yeah, I, I'm barely certain within like a about 30 minute window when he took it down. Um, okay, so yeah, so Nick then responds and says, hey, you still Fortnite says so when she says they started posting his actual name in chat she's just lying no she's wrong she they assumed that that was correct but according to president sunday it's not correct president sunday says but nick didn't know the name was wrong which means when he confirmed it to dk he was actively attempting to reinforce the, the val validity of what he was certain was a real docs yes so nick shared real docs by his own understanding. Nick was was convinced that the name was real. President Sunday is saying, no, the name wasn't real. And when I didn't redact the fake name, it's a, no it's a nothing. It doesn't mean anything. Yeah, Fortnite. It's not that she was lying here. It for, She's not lying here, it seems. At least not on this particular point. She's just wrong, is what it seems like, is what I'm getting here. We'll have PI in there to take it down. He's saying he muted Nick, and so he didn't see anything that Nick said. So nobody else was telling him besides Nick, right? I think Nick is the only one who privately DM'd him, but I'm pretty sure Dan, like Destiny's friend Dan, popped in and said, who is, and then said his name in the chat. Like, there are multiple people saying his name. Um, I'm sure he saw it. Okay. Yeah, so I believe in that he has Nick muted. That wouldn't surprise me. But like, I don't, I don't even, sorry, I'm not, maybe I'm misunderstanding. What, what kind of nasty behavior is he trying to uh, rewrite this as? Um, so when I'm telling him, it's not a dox, you posted your own information, I did not dox you. He, he's saying, well, I didn't even know that I posted my private information. So when you're telling me that I posted private information, I didn't even know that I posted private information. And I'm saying, well, no, Nick told uh -huh. you, bro. Nick said that you pro posted your own PI and you didn't, you still refused to take it down. And he says, well, I had Nick muted, so I had no idea that my PI was in there. Okay, well, people, I'm, I've just sent you some DMs from like, with like, of people talking about it. I just, maybe he didn't know, uh, but it. But hold on, hold on. Maybe this is a little bit too big brain for this, but why does any of this matter? Isn't the core problem that Nick and Erudite are actively working with a doxer to get a hold of President Sunday's information so they can publicly threaten him. Who cares about whether or not one piece of the dox was revealed via the struggle, via the back and forth in chat? Isn't this entire thing initiated by the fact that Nick and Not So Erudite were collaborating with a doxer in order to be able to threaten President Sunday on Chud Logic's stream? Am I, am I missing something here? Anybody? Am I missing something? Somebody tell me. Am I missing something here? Okay. I'm sorry. That sucks. That sucks that you muted Nick, I guess. And it, yeah. it sucks that you didn't see your name getting spammed in spicy chat. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. I mean, that's it. I told him I was like, either way, you're like, from my perspective, I would still assume, you know, what you're posting. Like from my perspective, I, I have no reason to see you post something and think, oh, he doesn't know that he's posting. No, they're only talking to the secondary source to find out who the primary source is. No, she said earlier that they talked to the primary source this like obviously you post something publicly oh, everybody should okay, assume yeah. you know probably, you're posting it publicly so i think people probably don't understand now because there's just so much fucking like context to understand everything people are probably like why was this even getting posted in the first place the reason it was getting posted is because sunday was trying to he hadn't posted the dms and he was trying to claim that nick was that nick was threatening him in dms when we notified him which when you read the dms that's obviously not fucking true like mm -hmm. clearly and sunday agreed that that wasn't true and mm -hmm. so he was like i'll post it later i'll post it later i just need to redact stuff and we were like this fucker 
<laughs> has spun the narrative. He's going to just clip it to try to just post it in a certain way uh, so that he can spin whatever fucking narrative he's going to come up with. And Nick's like, should I post it? I have everything redacted. Everything's good to go. Should I just like give Spicy it? And I was like, honestly, just like give it to them. Um, and then as soon as Nick posted it, then Sunday started trying to post it at the same time. I have no idea why he decided to do that. You'll have to ask him. Not yet, Keto. So Nick posts it with all the information fully redacted. Sunday starts like spam posting. He does like a bunch of photos. And then again, in the photos, his full name is in there. Um, yeah, his full name is in there, I believe. Twice. Okay. So yeah, yeah, he said that Nick was threatening to post the DMs. And so in his haste, he did not realize that he didn't redact all of the stuff because he was trying to combat people who were leaking. By the way, one, one my, my, I mean, we're, we're almost at the end of this. Let's just. His information. <laughs> okay. Man, super, super professional. Man, this is such a professional brand. This not so erudite brand is super there. I would totally trust them with people's mental health uh, recommendations. I totally don't think that there's any ethical issues whatsoever with a brand that is going around by the name of its brand. Hold on. Can we see? Wait, present Sunday. Are you still here? Do you have the redacted things? Can we look at them to judge for ourselves? Because I do think, by the way, I do absolutely think, regardless of what Nick said, uh, it's undeniable that uh, 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 that that uh, that erudite did threaten you live on air. I don't know if President Sunday is here, or, or if we have those, because I have not seen those. I would like to see for myself if they're available. All right. Well, everybody, uh, I have not heard back from President Sunday yet, so I don't know if he's here. He's probably gone. He said he was logging off anyway, but there you have it. Not so erudite, uh, <laughs> threatening President Sunday's docs in good faith in public. Um, do you, uh, what do we think, everybody? What's, what do you guys all think? Because personally... I think this is fucking goofy. And if not so erudite is feels seriously like feels like seriously threatened by President Sunday, I think that not so erudite should take a step forward. She should if she's threatening to sue, why isn't what why is this a why is this on a drama channel? We might have some wife guy. I mean, there is some serious wife guy things going here. I just, I just don't understand. What's the, po what's the point? If you have a legal claim against President Sunday, what's the point of threatening Docs on Chud Logic's show? Uh, or, or perhaps there is no real legal threat here at all, and instead it's about uh, getting a as many people as possible to go looking for President Sunday's Docs to try and you know, get revenge for the previous situation. But President Sunday didn't dox Kyla in the previous situation. Even though that does really seem like what it is. Like, it just seems like not so erudite feels justified in in announcing that she has President Sunday's dox in person so that he'll get doxed uh out of revenge like it just seems like revenge but why not just like own that then why not just be like you're a fucking piece of shit and guess what your docs are out there i didn't get them i somebody sent them to me why not just i don't know just own your shit why not just own your shit yeah my takeaway my personal takeaway because at the end of the day I already laid out my biases at the beginning of this. I don't like Not So Erudite. I think Not So Erudite is a liar, and I think that she she does she seems like a grifter to me. Um, 
uh, I don't like her style. I don't like the condescending holier than thou. Like I'm gonna, pr I'm gonna try and call up my credentials and be your expert. Like I hate that shit. I prefer to be talked, like person. I, I prefer to talk person to person. You know, not with this like fake fucking. Oh, I'm in an internet debate and I went to school once, which means that I definitely know what's right, even though my argument sucks ass. I hate that shit. If you either have a good argument or you don't, okay? You either have a reason for bringing up your credentials that are actually valid or you're just fucking blowing smoke up your own ass, um, which I don't care for. It's smug, it's annoying, it's condescending, it's like holier than thou. I hate it. Um, but what I guess my takeaway from this whole thing is just like, what the fuck? Who the fuck who the fuck should ever trust this brand? Why the fuck would you ever latch your shitty fucking uh psychology today uh 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 let me google that for you service uh for $50 uh, fucking $50 let me google that for you. Um uh, why would you ever latch this to your fucking drama brand unless you were like really desperate for a few hundred bucks? Is it that bad? Are finances that tight? I feel like, like, look at this real quick. Not so erudite has 39,000 subscribers. That's more subscribers than I have. Congratulations. I don't know if you pull the same live viewers that I do, but hey, 39,000 subscribers. Not so erudite is getting decent views on her videos. 4.2K views. That's pretty goddamn good. Why, why, why the mental health grift? Does it, to me, that seems like a big ethical gap, a, a big questionable, extremely suspicious thing for very, very minor gain, unless maybe a lot of people are taking her up on that offer which st seems even more scummy that like you're going to like dr random gamer drama politics communities on the internet and scooping up people for $50 to Google for them. I just think it's yucky and stupid and unethical in my personal opinion. And it also seems like it's there to sort of prop up the idea that you're like a serious mental health person when in reality you're a youtuber a drama youtuber you cover the destiny debates a destiny debate uh keffel's drama destiny debate destiny debate a lot of death destiny again a lot of destiny here a lot of mr girl a lot of, there's more destiny again you know, this is just drama stuff. It's all just, all just seems like a lot of drama. I don't know, I guess maybe, maybe people aren't confident in their product. That is something that comes off out of this whole thing. It just feels like a severe lack of confidence, like a lot of insecurity. No, I'm not a YouTuber. I'm a psycho magician. I'm not a YouTuber. I'm a super serial professional, guys. Guys, I charge people $50 to Google things. I'm super serious. Take me seriously. I don't know, man. Drama, you mean like what you're doing? No way. I'm doing drama? I'm doing drama in my title, title, in my in my stream titled drama as a youtuber as an entertainer that i regular oh my god you i'm just hearing this now for the first time you're telling you for real for re i'm doing drama no i me in my stream titled drama stream oh my god you're so smart you're so smart steven you did it you did it <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Oh my God, a drama YouTuber. Did you miss a big part of what I'm saying?
Did you did you miss something, Steven? Hey, Steven. Did you miss the part where I was talking about the selling psychological services and constantly referring to your credentials? Can we just go real quick? Hold on, watch this. But there is this cult. Hold on a second. Hold on. I'm just going to show you something real quick here, okay? And I brought this up the first time as one of the things that drives me nuts. What's this? In taking up approximately, uh, maybe about a fifth of the screen is the diploma. Uh, I gotta have my certification and my diploma up on the screen. You know what? Put up a YouTube button when you get there. Stop pretending to be a psycho magician. Stop pretending to be a psychologist. Stop being like, I am your expert when it comes to the dark triad, which definitely hasn't been debunked. Where's my, do you see my diploma? I got a Fudinari hat, okay? I got a fucking, I got my, my book that I like. I got my cute little bees. I got my little lobster. I got my books that I like. I got my little creatures in the background. You don't see me fucking putting a diploma up. You don't see me pretending to be some kind of expert to try and convince people to buy my $50 uh, Googling service. Come on, you bitch. Don't be such a bitch. Don't be an idiot. 